Well, good afternoon, folks. Here's another quick tip. Um, I don't make these long, the quick tip ones. Other ones I do, but the quick tip ones are meant just to give you an idea rapidly on things that you can do or make money with. Today's topic, we're going to talk about bending metal. And this is one way of doing it, like when you don't have a roller and you don't have that expensive equipment that it takes to do the bending. And you don't have a way to heat up and forge and, and all this other things. I mean, so this method's a little labor intensive, but it does work. I've used it. Let's get after it, just like we always do. Let's get right to it. We'll have a discussion. Here we go. Okay, here's the first picture of a way to do it. I apologize for the photo. I took it with my camera pointed at a computer while I was at work, and I thought the picture would come out better. But you'll understand the point. What somebody did here is they took a piece of pine board, and whether they used a, a jigsaw, a bandsaw, they cut this nice big arc. Now take a look over here, and you can see where they C-clamped it down to their work table very securely. And then over to the left, they've got it wedged onto something. Now, this is on a metal table too, and you have to be careful doing this. You can heat this up and you can start to bend this arc, heat it up with an oxyacetylene torch or any other way that, I don't know if map gas would work. I don't, I haven't tried anything like that, but you can heat this up or if it's thin enough, you can start to bend it. But the thing about this tube steel or this rectangular tube steel it can crease on you really easy, okay? So there's another way that you can take your uh, four and a half inch angle grinder and you can cut slits into it. Get yourself a nice thin blade and cut slits into it all the way along here. And then you can put a piece of rebar up at the top of that and start to bend it in this arc by hand. Now that can work and I've done it before but then you got to go back and you have to fill in all of these cuts with MIG wire and you have to grind them down and make them look like they weren't there depending on what you're making. But this is one way that you can do it. They're using rectangular uh, tube steel here. What I do mostly in this kind of a method is I'm using a quarter inch, uh, quarter inch cold rolled steel round or I'm using like one inch wide cold rolled flat steel it's easy to bend by hand. You don't even need to heat it up. And then those can be able to create the framework for other projects. So this is one method, I mean, you can think about, and if you have a comment of a way that you've done it that's better or equally as good, I mean, drop me a comment, let me know. Let me throw up another picture and we'll continue. Okay, now here's a guy, ingenuity, okay? He didn't have any way to, to bend these huge long pieces of steel. And what he did is he turned around on a big piece of decking of some kind and he used these two by fours and he created this arc. And he secured it over on one end and then he just started to bend this thing and you can see where he's got that leverage bar over here on the far right and he just started bending this thing around to make this big long sweeping arc and you can see the pile behind him. I've never done anything like this. I just got the picture from the web. I thought... Here's somebody that managed to figure out a way to make these arches and make these bends. And he's using some type of uh, round piping. I don't know what it is exactly, but I thought it was an interesting picture. Now let's get back more to, uh, well, what I think reality is. I'm never going to do anything that big. I don't have the room to create that kind of a setup. So anyway, I thought it was interesting. And there are ways, um, like I said, that you can bend steel. And this is just another one. But let me show you a third way. Again, I'm sorry for the picture quality here, but it's meant to show you other ways that you can do things. Now, here's probably quarter inch round cold rolled steel. And you can see on a piece of plywood, he created the arc that he wanted and then he drove in a whole bunch of nails all along that line. And then over here, he took a piece of wood and he created a wedge. Now, whether he heated it or he didn't heat it, I'm not sure, there wasn't enough information. And he started to bend this and create this arc. And what's, well, what's cool about this is the repeatability. If you have to do like two, three, four of these because you're going to join them together and make something 
you know, more solid or more uniform, bigger or anything like that, at least you know that you can constantly repeat that same pattern. The first one that you saw when we use the pine wood and bent it, I've done that. This I have not done. I tend to make my patterns out of wood and I screw them down to a table. And if I have to heat the steel or I clamp them, I mean, it depends. I've got a welding table and I've got a big wooden table. If I have to heat them, I stay with the metal table. If I don't have to heat them, I might go out and use the wooden table. But those are the two methods that I've used. I mean, it's a little crude, yes. Does it work? Yes, if you take your time, it'll work fine. Okay, so let's take a look at some other bending methods. Upper, left. You can see where he took some flat steel and he made an arch, welded it, and it's angle iron so he can put it in a vise and he can create more of these arches. The one in the middle, he put two rods together. He could put a piece of steel there and heat it or not heat it and bend it how he wants. The one over on the right is the tube steel again with that cut out of wood. And this guy probably didn't have to cut those slits that I said. It's probably a large enough arc where you wouldn't have to worry about it. Bottom left, rebar. This is a clever little thing for making scrolls real quick out of rebar. It was a good idea. Look over on the right. This guy took a piece of angle iron, put a piece of pipe steel, and another little rod where he can put in other pieces of round stock or flat. He can make circles or he can begin to make scrolls the same way. Okay, let's take a look at these last three. Up here on the top left, you can see he made a jig. He used a bunch of scrap wood. He created an arc. He probably used a compass at first and drew the arc and then put the little pieces of wood, screwed them down onto this plywood, and now he can use this to bend this round steel, flat steel, whatever he wants. Let's take a look at the bottom left. Here somebody used almost like a railroad spike type thing and a circle he made. He can begin to make with this. You can see how the arrow's pointing where he can heat it up and he can start to bend it. It's another way to bend. You can create these jigs easy enough. Now the one on the bottom right I kind of like. This is nice for making arches. He created a ring here where it'll secure itself in so when you're heated and you're pulling down even with a lever or some kind of a bar on the end. If it's hot, you can bend this whole arch. And he's using this angle iron right here. You can put it into a vise, or you can bolt it. That's probably what these holes were for. Or it was just a piece of scrap, one or the other. And you can see how he put the supports in between in the middle there. These are easy to make, and they're fun to do. Make them once. You've got them for future projects. I would encourage you to get out there, take your scrap steel, make yourself some jigs. It's your tip of the day. Consider when you're bending metal, I mean that especially a lot of times I need to repeat that pattern. This is a way to do it. I'm the home handyman. Please click subscribe. I really appreciate your support. Thank you folks very much. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.